I'm Sam Burrows and today I'm reading Psalm 32 verses 6 and 7 from the New Living Translation. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the flood waters of judgment. For you are my hiding place and you protect me in, from trouble, you surround me with songs of victory. As I reflect on being alone with God, I know that I can often feel too busy with young children and a wife and work and lots of other pressures. Um, I can often think I haven't got time to spend that five minutes, I'm gonna be late or, um, yeah, I've just got to do this thing and then I'll do it. And all too often, I don't spend that time with the Lord. I can be encouraged um, reading this, as David writes earlier, he says, when he refuses to confess his sin, his body wastes away and he groans all night long. But when he confesses his sins and stops trying to hide his guilt, God forgives him. Lord, the God says he'll always um, instruct us and guide us and he will protect us. And we know that his love is unfailing. And we can turn to him for rest, protection, provision and victory in our spiritual battles. So why do we so often not do it? It's so hard to find solitude amongst the busyness of modern life. I was encouraged by asking my wife once why she never listened to the radio in the car. I used to always listen to music and she said, well, often I don't listen to anything in the car because it's a quiet time where I can be alone with God. And I found that really encouraging. Sometimes I find it really great to just be able to connect with God in simple chores, which I have to do, um, like walking the dog. It can be a really beautiful way to um, meet with the Lord, or playing worship music whilst I'm washing up. So Father, thank you that you have saved us. Thank you that you are our protector and our provider. Lord, we're sorry that we can be too busy and focused on the little things of this world. God, help us to hide from the world for a few minutes today and seek you. In Jesus' name, amen.